G'day folks. Well, not very often I get something vintage vintage in to muck around with, but <clears throat> here we are anyway. Um, well, I've got a 1950s Victor Model 5 um, Series 1, I think. Series 1 had these little legs out where the, on the Model 4 automatics, the flap would have gone on. Um, got edge of slot. Series 2 didn't have that, and then Series 3 didn't have edge of slot. I don't know. Someone will correct me anyway. Um, when I bought it, I got told it ran several years prior, and then just been left in the shed, so hopefully it's an easy one to get going. It's got some compression. Got a lot of compression. So, um, might just go and give it a quick hose off to get rid of some of this trash, and, um, Get into it. Oh, quick hose off. She um, looks pretty bloody good. It's probably been repainted. No way that's original paint. Whoever repainted it, if it has been though, they haven't um, done the flash, which is correct. So many restorations you see, they do the 18 and the flash and in the red, and that's just wrong. A um, little bit of wear on the sides, but I don't know. Maybe she hasn't seen a lot of use. Wheels are pretty good. Everything's just sort of correct. Um, handlebar clamp has seen better days. We'll find a way to make it stick better for today's efforts. As long as we can get this motor running. So I'm just going to leave it sit out in the sun for a bit dry off now and um, then we'll rip into it. Oh yeah? Well, I'll just... I dump a little bit of two strap down this snorkel here. Um, unfortunately, the original air filter housing, I suppose you might call it, was just basically fly mesh. You know, box thing, choke on it, it's missing. Um, just dump a little bit of fuel down it. Dribble. And, um, on wide open throttle. See if she lights off. more and we'll go and get a spark plug spanner. into the shade, it's getting too bloody hot out here. Um, got a brand new plug on there and just giving it a bit of a spin. It's got a very intermittent spark, so just guessing there's a little bit of shit on the points there. Hopefully I can get the flywheel off without my puller, otherwise we've got to wait until later on. So, that actually came off quite easily. Um, just put the pulley nut back on and basically supported it supported the bottom of the flywheel very gently underneath barely pried at all and just gave it a couple little and it just slid straight off and it doesn't get better than that um there's our key we'll just put him off to the side for a sec it's actually just a bit wet in here so maybe i got a bit too carried away with the water earlier um we'll give this whole points plate a clean up and um yeah slam him together and see what happens
So I've been mucking around, I've been got serious with the multimeter and I've been playing. I think we've got a, we have got a weak spark. Well, the spark's back, but I think the coil might be getting weak. Anyway, it's intermittent. Um, got a brand new plug in there. It's a Champion N21, same as what came out. Um, just fiddling around. This carb's not quite fully seated, so well, wheel him on. We might just dump some fuel in it. That carb looks pretty good from the outside, so the tank's dry as doesn't even smell like fuel. So hopefully, I don't need to pull it apart. Probably do, but just cutting the corner. All right. So putting the cowling back on, I broke the plastic to fuel tap that someone else had already put on there. So I put another one on. I've just shifted the tank over a little bit. Doesn't look quite right, but it'll work. Hopefully. Um, hopefully this one doesn't leak. Um, put on some new fuel line. And yeah, um, we'll just give it a crack now and see what happens. Um, so I'll get you set up in the stand. That tank is dry and pretty crusty, but I'm not seeing a lot of chunky rust. It's just sort of surface rust. So let's give it a burl. Right, 25 to 1. Work. We want wide open throttle or just sort of half? I'm not sure. Yeah, we might go half just in case. I need to clean this car up. Oh, teach me for taking shortcuts. Spark again. Or I'll flood that plug. Something's not right.
after a little bit of a sit down, I think. I remember a lot of the old Victor Carbys needing some sort of restriction on the air intake. So I sort of conjured up an air filter from, I'm not sure what that even came off, and jammed in a long filter, which isn't really sealing that well, but what a difference. I'm not really sure if I can be bothered mowing that whole huge yard with it, but we'll, we'll go over there with it later and have a bit of a play. Anyway.
There we go. So a 65-ish year old mower. <laughs> Can still do it. It's like 38 degrees. But it's gone all cloudy now. Still got to come over here with a whipper snipper and do all the edges, but that was pretty cool. It was struggling up here because the little rubber that stops the height adjustment from winding itself down is missing and actually wound itself all the way down. So we've got patches of the scout. Hopefully it rains later anyway, so it'll need mowing again soon. All right, thanks for watching.